Welcome to German Grammar Videos. Thank you for watching. This presentation will examine the positive, comparative, and superlative forms of German adjectives and adverbs. The presentation will first look at the positive, comparative, and superlative forms in English in order to quickly develop background knowledge of the topic before moving over to an examination of these forms in German. Once we look at how these forms are normally constructed in German, we will examine some common exceptions involving umlauted and irregular forms. Let's get started. Adjectives are words that describe or modify another person or thing in a sentence. When an adjective is used to describe one person or thing, the positive form of the adjective is used. As you see on the screen, the adjective fast is in the positive form. The positive form can be considered the standard or base form of an adjective. When adjectives are used to compare between two persons or things, the comparative form of the adjective is used. In English, the comparative is usually formed by adding the suffix er to the positive form of the adjective. You can see the comparative form of fast or faster on the screen. When a comparison is being made between three or more persons or things in a sentence, the superlative form of the adjective is used. In English, the superlative is usually formed by adding the suffix est to the positive form of the adjective. You can see the superlative form of fast or fastest on the screen. As we will see in this presentation, German constructs the comparative and superlative forms of its adjectives in a similar manner. With adjectives consisting of two or more syllables, English uses a different construction to, to form the comparative and superlative. As you see on the screen, English usually adds more to the positive form to construct the comparative and the most to the positive form to construct the superlative. It is very important to note that German does not form the comparative and superlative in this manner. So how does German form the comparative of adjectives? As in English, the comparative form of an adjective is constructed by adding the comparative suffix er to the positive form of an adjective. As you see on the screen, the comparative form of the adjective schnell, meaning fast in German, is schneller. You can use the comparative as a predicate adjective, which is simply an adjective that follows a linking verb and modifies the subject of the sentence. As you see on the screen, the linking verb for this sentence is ist, and the subject of the sentence is das Auto. The adjective schnell comes after the linking verb and is modified by the comparative suffix er. The sentence das Auto ist schneller means the car is faster. Adverbs, which are words that change or modify the meaning of a verb, adjective, or other adverb, also have comparative forms. In this sentence, das Auto fährt schneller, or the car drives faster, the comparative adjective, the comparative adverb schneller, does not modify the subject of the sentence, das Auto, as in the prior slide, but rather it describes the manner in which the car drives. The adverb, therefore, modifies the third person singular present tense verb form of the verb fahren, which is fährt. You will notice, however, that the comparative form of adverbs is similar to the comparative form of adjectives. Finally, you can use the comparative as an attributive adjective in a noun phrase. The sentence you see on the screen, das ist das schnellere Auto, or that is the faster car, contains one noun phrase, das schnellere Auto. This noun phrase, which on the screen is highlighted by the gray rounded box, consists of one neuter definite article in the nominative case, das, a comparative adjective with added inflection, schnellere, and the noun itself, auto. As we have seen in the prior slides, the comparative is formed by just adding the comparative suffix er to the positive form of the adjective. However, since the comparative is used here as an attributive adjective, which simply means that the adjective comes before the noun it modifies, we also need to add the appropriate adjective ending. 
In this case, since we have a definite article on the noun phrase das, we only need we only need to add the correct weak adjective inflection e to the comparative. If you are uncertain how to apply strong and weak adjective inflections, please refer to the other videos in the series or consult your textbook. The next form we will look at is the superlative. In German, the superlative form of an adjective is constructed by adding the superlative suffix st to the positive form of an adjective. As you see on the screen, the superlative form of the adjective schnell is schnellst. The superlative can be used as a predicate adjective. However, you will need to use a special prepositional construction to do so. As you see on the screen, this prepositional construction consists of the contraction am before the adjective and the ending stn after the adjective. You will also note that the superlative suffix st is contained in this ending. The am sten prepositional construction is analogous to the English expression the most. The superlative can also be used to modify an adverb. As you see on the screen, the same prepositional construction used to modify predicate adjectives is also used to modify adverbs. Please remember, however, that an adverb is not used to modify the subject of the sentence or some other noun, but rather the verb in the sentence. Superlatives can also function as an attributive adjective in a noun phrase. The sentence you see on the screen, das ist das schnellste Auto, contains one noun phrase das schnellste Auto. This noun phrase, which on the screen is highlighted by the gray rounded box, consists of one neuter definite article in the nominative case, das, a superlative adjective with added inflection, schnellste, and the noun itself, Auto. As we have seen in the prior slides, the superlative is formed by just adding the superlative suffix st to the positive form of the adjective. However, since the superlative is used here as an attributive adjective, we also need to add the appropriate adjective ending. In this case, since we have a definite article in the noun phrase das, we only need to add the correct weak adjective inflection e to the comparative. Finally, there are some important exceptions to the manner in which we form the comparative and superlative forms of adjectives and adverbs. The adjective you see on the screen, teuer, which means expensive in German, ends with an er in the positive form. When we construct a comparative form, therefore, we need to drop the e from this ending. The same holds true for adjectives ending in el, such as dunkel, meaning dark. You can see examples of both adjectives on the screen and how the e is dropped from the er and el endings in the comparative. You will note, however, that the e is added back in the superlative form. If an adjective or adverb is monosyllabic, which simply means that it only has one syllable, and also ends in a d, a t, an s, an s set, a z, or sch, we need to insert an e between the adjective and its superlative suffix when forming the superlative. As you see on the screen, the adjective laut, or loud in English, adds an e before the before the superlative suffix. This serves to make the superlative more pronounceable. A small number of monosyllabic adjectives and adverbs add an umlaut to their comparative and superlative forms. As you see on the screen, the adjective alt, or old in English, adds an umlaut in the comparative and superlative. Not all adjectives and adverbs do this, however, so please consult your textbook or conduct a web search to locate a complete list of those that take an umlaut. Additionally, you will note that the adjective ends in a T, so an E must be inserted between the adjective and its superlative suffix. Finally, some adjectives and adverbs have an irregular or completely different comparative form, such as the adjective hoch, meaning high or tall in English. In this case, we add an umlaut to the vowel in the comparative and change the double consonant ch to a more pronounceable h. The resulting comparative adjective, meaning taller or higher in English, is pronounced höher. 
Other adjectives and adverbs have totally different comparative and superlative forms, such as the adjective gut, meaning good in English. And, as in English, the comparative besser and the superlative best look nothing like their positive form. Adjective and adverbs that have irregular or completely different forms in the comparative and superlative simply need to be memorized. You can find a list of these adjectives and adverbs in your textbook or after conducting a web search. And that concludes this presentation on the positive, comparative, and superlative forms of German adjectives and adverbs. German grammar videos are produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The videos, scripts, and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Share-Alike 4.0 International License. Don't be a square. Remix and share.